We are here to talk about Speak No. Be there now. And I give it a solid 7 out of 10. Want to know why? Stick around to find out. A family is invited to spend a weekend in an idyllic country house, unaware that their dream vacation will soon become a psychological nightmare. To give a little backstory, I enjoy so much the original Speak No Evil that came out in 2022, a Shudder original. And I can definitely see why some studio execs probably looked at this story and said, we need to make an American version with none other than James freaking McAvoy. And does he kill it in this movie? Of course he does. Rejoice! I mean, it is the primary reason why they've been marketing this film in the way that they have been. I mean, he is in the main poster. It's James McAvoy going crazy, playing father of the year, right? No, if it was opposite day, he is playing the worst father ever and worst husband. His commanding presence elevates the tension and it's safe to say that without his intense and fully committed portrayal, this movie wouldn't be half as engaging. It's simply due to this man's gift by God that we get something like this kind of experience where you are just engrossed in the story. Joining him are the fantastic Scott McNary and Mackenzie Davis as a couple on the brink, trying to maintain their relationship while they're also vacationing at their friend's house with their daughter. Their chemistry together as this couple does work and there are some genuine authentic moments between a woman who just wants a better marriage and a man who doesn't know how to provide that. I really enjoyed the themes that they were going for in this film, still carrying over from the original to this, despite some very generic script issues where certain dialogues come across a bit dry and awkward at times. Though their struggle to unite against escalating threats is one of the most compelling aspects of this story, the idea of someone who doesn't know how to stand up and fight for his family. The third act obviously takes an unexpected turn, blending a Home Alone style madness with some wild and downright absurd sequences. For a movie that's genuinely dark, it offers a lighter tone compared to the original where I genuinely found myself laughing in multiple sequences, primarily by just how uncomfortable this whole situation is and it's due to the phenomenal performance of James McAvoy that carries those scenes. While I do appreciate the lighter tone for this version of Speak No Evil, I much more preferred the original version where it had this more ominous taste to it. Also, the ending is drastically different compared to the other version in 2022. Personally prefer that ending over this one, but this is the more safe American version that I believe majority of audiences, when they look at the journey at the end of the day, I think they're going to prefer this version over the original. I get it. Without bad decisions, we really wouldn't have movies like this. Horror movies, thrillers. But I wish filmmakers would find smarter ways to create the tension because it is there and there is a way to get to certain beats that they want, but they just treat the characters as if they were stupid. That said, the film redeems itself a bit by making it clear that these characters are insecure and out of their depth which somewhat justifies their mistakes. In the end, Speak No Evil is a fun, thrilling ride, especially with a crowd on a Saturday night. Despite its flaws and the occasional frustrating choices that the characters make, the film delivers a memorable experience driven by McAvoy's stellar performance. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. It really means a lot. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, don't forget to be blessed.